Been a while since I've done a gym video, so here I am, and I'm gonna apologize ahead of time for the acoustics. It's a gym, not a studio. And this is my phone, not my camera, all right? I'm gonna show you guys a simple circuit today. And um, I'm wearing a 20 pound weighted vest, and I guess I should talk about that first. If you wanna get started working out at home, maybe you can't afford a gym membership, you don't have time, and sometimes it's, it's absolutely the case, Although I think if it's a priority in your life, you will make time for it. But maybe you genuinely don't have time. Um, get a weighted vest. You can do squats. You can take walks with it. And let me tell you something. Just taking a walk, a 20-minute brisk walk with a 20-pound weighted vest, you'll be shocked at how that blows your lungs out as well as your abs and your low back, your stability muscles. So give it a try if you don't believe me. And you can get weighted vests anywhere from 20 up to, I think, 100 pounds. Um, you can even start with maybe a 40 and then the kind that are just where you pull weights out of them. That's a good idea. And then you can add them as you get stronger. But a weighted vest is a great training tool. And I'm using it today as an assistance tool, maybe a hindrance tool in the workout I'm doing. And it's a simple workout today. Today is more of a uh, low to moderate intensity day. I'm not doing heavy squats. I'm not doing deadlifts. Uh, you know, I'm working more high rep, low to moderate intensity, which is really important for heat transfer, blood flow, as well as building muscular stability or strength and uh, um, uh, joint stability. All right. Now, we've done videos in the past I have on the grip strength in the upper back helping with handgun shooting. Obviously, the front of the shoulders play a role in that, too, as well as the arms, even the chest, the abs, the whole body works in unison when you're shooting. So today what I'm going to do is a three exercise circuit. It's really simple. I've got a 70 pound dumbbell and again it's a moderate day. Uh, sometimes those will be up to 120 but a 70 pound dumbbell and I've got straps, suspended straps here and I'm going to put the, the uh, phone right down here so forgive me for a second. I'm going to demonstrate and I'll probably be out of breath after. I've done several sets already and I'm going to tell you exactly what these work and how they can benefit you as a concealed carrier and a protector. All right. So I'm going to put the phone down, demonstrate what these are for, all right? So the goblet squat first. Adjust the straps. But no rest, obviously the heart rate stays up. So you get the cardio benefit. Now we're in a row. Here we go. So again, the short rest period, you get the cardio benefit. So you get the heart rate up. Also helps with burning fat. The 70 pound goblet squats, in addition to the 20 pound vest, puts us at 90 pounds. And the nice thing about the goblet squats is this. Sorry about that noise, my heater just kicked on. The 70 pound goblet squats offset the weight. So the beautiful thing is if you can't back squat, you have instability or mobility issues, goblet squats are a great way to put the weight in front of you and get down deep and improve. Yes, guys, weightlifting can improve your mobility and flexibility, okay? Now, the straps are nothing more than ratchet strap motorcycle tie downs with handles I picked up, I believe, from Dunham's. Uh, guys, the excuse that you don't have equipment, you don't have a gym, might be the case, but you pick up a weighted vest and some straps, it's a start. Here's the way I see it. 
do you have to work out to carry a gun and be a protector? No. But you better hope and pray the guy trying to kill you or your family doesn't.